in 18 in April. Oh, okay. Hello, okay, hello. Okay. <laughs> Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Teacher. hello, how are you today? Really are great. You? Great. great? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hello, okay. hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good good evening. To hear you. It's good to see you one more time. Thank you for. Okay. being right here. It's a pleasure um, to hear you again. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome, Patricia. Uh, welcome, welcome, Amilcar. Welcome, uh, thank you. Edith. Thank you. Welcome, Herbert. Welcome, Roberto. Welcome, Azucena. And welcome, Diego. Uh, welcome, Diana, right now. Um, so how was your weekend? Tell me. Anyone? Really, uh, really, uh, my weekend uh, was very, very, very happy. Okay. Why? Why was your weekend happy? happy? So, <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, the, the Saturday, we were working very hard. Okay. However, mm -hmm. however, uh, our, our boss uh, uh, gave us, uh, with my wife, uh, a little money, more. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, more money. Okay, 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 okay more good. money. <laughs> so now I understand okay. why you said that your weekend okay. was very happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. So um, how are you, uh, Patricia? How was your weekend? Uh in the morning on Saturday, I I was work. In the afternoon, I went to the party of graduation. Oh, nice! And in Sunday, on the uh, yesterday, I I paint my hair. <laughs> oh, you did really? What color do you yes. dye it? What color do you dye it? Mm -hmm. Good evening. Uh, it's, Good evening, it's Natural. It's Kimmy. henna. Oh, I had no idea what it is, but okay. <laughs> uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice canas? Cana. Ah, uh, I knew how I knew how to say that, but now. Pelo blanco, <laughs> Okay, let me look for it. Let me look for it. Let me look for it. Mm -hmm. So you diet. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, good. What about you, Edith? How was your... Um... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Edith, how was your weekend? Um, um, very relaxing because um, Saturday um, I, I was working mm -hmm. and in the afternoon I went to Aguachapan. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and good. And I come back yesterday. Oh, you came back yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, um, yeah, thank you, Edith. Um, yes, well, this is the thing. Okay. For example, here in El Salvador, when we have canas, we say, oh, I, I have canas, right? Canas, canas. But mm -hmm. in English, basically- White hair. It, ah, yes, well, we, we, we can say uh, white hair, mm -hmm. But mostly when we are referring to canas, we are referring to gray hair. Gray hair. Gray hair. Yeah, not like white hair, but gray hair. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how about you, Diana? How was your weekend, Diana? Diana, are you there, Diana? Okay. Um, it's in the uni in the university. Ah, yeah, right. What about you, Herbert? Uh, how was college. you? Yes. How was your um, weekend, Herbert? Uh, my weekend was relaxed, mm -hmm. and yesterday in the morning I went to the church. Oh, nice. And at the at the uh, at the afternoon I stayed at home watching movies and football 
Oh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, how about you, Ailey? How was your weekend? What do you do during the weekend? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Um, I was watching series with my mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What series were you Service. watching? Mm -hmm. What series? Eh, ay, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero Which mujer one? con aroma de café, creo. <laughs> mujer con aroma de café. I had never heard about that. Mm -hmm. Is that a soap opera or is that a TV series? Mm -hmm. Es una novela sí, o es un, sí. una serie? Mm -hmm. Serie. Oh, is it in Netflix? Okay. <laughs> okay, so thank you. How about you, um, Archimedes? How was your weekend, Archimedes? What do you do, Archimedes? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, my weekend was, um, I don't know, I tried to work in the platform. Mm -hmm. I, I asked him for some help because mm -hmm. uh, I have a problem with the point six point seven, six point six, excuse me, and work all the Saturday. Mm -hmm. And after I leave Time. the bus because I feel feel sad because I can pass the that that point, you know. And the yesterday I got to ride my bike to the Ciclovia. Uh -huh. to relax that's it okay good <laughs> thank you anyone else who wants to share about his or her um weekend who wants to share alguien más que quiera compartir acerca de su fin de semana mm -hmm. anyone me did you. okay me go did ahead you. diego yeah diego mm -hmm. uh my, good evening, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, good evening. My weekend was good uh, because I had at home all weekend and I can rest. Uh, and I can rest and and to enjoy it uh, in, in my house. Oh, great. I mean, yes, it seems that you had a very relaxing weekend. Good, mm -hmm. good, good. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. Okay, um, remember that uh, in general, when we are expressing past activities, do not forget to include simple past, right? For example, uh, for example, you can say, I have, I went, mm -hmm. I got, I could, I, I watched, Mm -hmm. I drunk, I visited, etc. All right. So do not forget to do that. And uh, thank you for your participation. Uh, Dina Contreras, how are you, Dina Contreras? Dina, are you there, Dina? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Dina? Fine, thank you. And you? Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Just a little hot. It's very, very hot here in, in Monasan. Believe it or not, but it's really hot. I don't know over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you all. Mm -hmm. So, Dina, how was your weekend, Dina? I, I weekend in... In Sonsonate. Oh, you went to Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. I, I went in Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. It's very hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, um, okay, mm. where, where, where do you live, uh, Dina? Mm -hmm. I live in San Salvador. Oh, so you went from San Salvador to Sonsonate. 
Mm -hmm. On the I, weekend. Mm -hmm. On the weekend. Uh -huh. oh, yes. Okay. And it, and the and it was very hot. Mm -hmm. Very hot. Ah. Okay. 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 So I hope. Uh, well, you know. Um, we are in basically we are in, we're in summer right now. That's why it's very hot. But the good thing is that in the next coming weeks we are going to be in winter. It's gonna be raining, and then we're gonna be drinking coffee and chocolate at this time. You can be. I mean, you're gonna be taking your English classes, maybe with me or maybe with another teacher. You're gonna be enjoying the weather and drinking a lot of coffee with some quesadilla and drinking some, if you have some tipo galletas, tipo cookies. So you're gonna be like eating. So just wait for a little bit until we get to uh, winter. And then in winter, you say, oh no, it's too cold. I wish I were in the summer. It's like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that all the time. Mm. We complain about the weather and then when we had the other weather that we wanted, we don't want the weather, so we want the weather to come back again. All right, so I wanna say thank you for joining, joining today's class. Um, today, as you know, we are going to start a new section, which is section number four. And as you know, the end of this English course is when? When is the last day of this English course? When is the last day? Does anybody know when the last day is? No? Well, it's next week. Next week, uh, March the 22nd. If you see March the 22nd, if I'm not wrong, it will be on, let me see, on Tuesday. So next Tuesday is going to be the last day of this uh, English course. According to the calendar we were given, if there is any change, I mean change, uh, we are going to let you know, all right? That means, that means that during this week, uh, we are going to work in two sections, okay? That means that it's, we're going to work on section number four, and we are going to start section number five. So that next week, next Monday, uh, we are going to be reviewing, reviewing what we cover in the whole course, mm -hmm. in the whole course. And on Tuesday, uh, you need to have your final exam completed, all right? Do not forget that if you haven't worked okay. in your, your, what, in your, um, in your platform yet, you still have time to work on it, all right? Is that clear? Okay, good, good. All right, so let's get started today. Today, as I said before, we are going to start a new uh, topic, and the topic is time contrast, time contrast, okay? What is the main objective for today's lesson? At the end of this class, you will be able to describe either events using time contrasts between the past, the present, and the future. That means that the, today you are going to practice simple past, pre, simple present, and simple future. Remember, simple past, for example, I went to the church yesterday. And a simple present, I go to the church every Sunday. In the future, I will go or I'm going to go to the church uh, next Sunday, all right? So basically, we're going to be reviewing simple past, simple present, and simple future. And that's the point that we are going to study today, all right? So... I have a question for you, and I would like, Patricia, would you mind reading that question for me, please? Uh, no, teacher, no question. Oh, uh, can you see my screen? Um, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. yes, teacher, so we can see the screen. Okay, there is a question over there, Patricia. 
Ah. Ah. Do you want that I read the question? Yes. Yes. Ah. Okay. Thanks. Sorry. Mm -hmm. What do you remember from the previous week? Thank you. Okay. So what do, in general, this is a question for everyone today, okay? What do you remember from the previous week? Okay, tell me, what do you remember? If you remember any vocabulary, go to the chat and type. Escriban algún vocabulario que aprendieron last week or any sentence or any topic, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Oh, Thanksgiving. Okay, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um. Fly, también. What is it? Shrine? Oh, and it says shrine. There is a sanctuary, un santuario in Japan, yes. right? Shrine. My, my, yes. my word is fly. Oh, my work, my word is? Fly. Fly? My work is fly. fly. You mean like fly, like flying? Mosca. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, fly the animal. Okay, Roberta Donai says the use of when mm -hmm. and holidays. Good, good, yes, yes. Last week we were working, okay, let me see, let me read the chat. Customs, yes. Especially uh, on Christmas, you eat panes con pollo, right? On Christmas, okay? Wedding customs, okay? Wedding customs, okay? Uh, I can see here, it says, Diego Arturo says, bride and the groom. Bride, it can be a breeder, right? bride and groom. Mm -hmm. Patricia says, my new vocabulary, that I learned last week was afterwards, mm -hmm. Speech, oh. speeches, mm -hmm. against the harvest, guest and engaged. Oh, good. Jacinta says relative clauses. Ailey says bride and groom. Good, good examples. Okay, very good example. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you. Okay, oh, let me see. Luis, Luis Arquimedes says autumn. Okay. Groom, bride, wedding at a shrine, shrine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, those are, they are a good example. Oh, yeah. Patricia says, I practiced the holidays. Yes. Especially when you eat tamale, right? Tamale with coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you so much. So we were like reviewing and remembering some things that we learned uh, we practiced last week. Okay. We are going to do an activity. What are we going to do? We are going to write three words in each category. Okay. Each word in each category. All right. So I would like you to start writing right now three words in each category in your notebook. Not in the chat, no in el chat, in your notebook or in your computer, pero no lo vayan a escribir en el chat, por favor, okay? So start right now. Number one is types of transportation, any kind of type of transportation. ¿Cuántas palabras van a escribir por cada categoría? How many? How many? Tres. Okay, tres, three. three. Okay, start right now, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I apologize. In the number three, it says countries that begins. Ahí, ahí, uh, there is a mistake. Okay. Tengo un error ahí. Mm -hmm. Es sin S, okay? Es sin S. Okay. Countries that begin with P. Hmm. Types. Types. Hurry up, please.
¿Cómo vamos? ¿Vamos avanzando? No. ¿No? Hurry up. Este easy peasy, like a piece of cake. What number are you working on? What number? Number six. Six? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you finish? No. Okay, hurry up. I wouldn't say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when do you say family members? It's a son, daughter, or something. Uh -huh, like exactly. That? Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the number two is plural or, or any word? Uh, words that finish with letter S. That's what it says. It, it doesn't matter. Just words that end with letter S. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It could be plurals, it could be, ah, does, you're smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I guess um, we finished. Did we finish? Yes? No, yet. Uh, um, okay. Let me know when you finish, please. No vayan a buscar en internet, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ni tampoco busquen en el cielo. En el cielo no están. Ajá. Finished. Oh, you finished? finished? Okay, you finished? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do right now? It's very simple. All right. We are going to go to small breakout rooms and we are going to share. Vamos a escribir las tres, las tres palabras uh, with... Uh, the, the three types of transportation, uh, the three words ending with letter S, and what? The, the three words, I mean, the three countries beginning with letter P, the three words uh, that begins with letter T, uh, five things in the water, six famous people and family member. Okay? Eh, vamos a compartir lo que escribimos. All right, I'm going to send you to the um, breakout rooms in this moment. Um, let me see, I'm going to have, um, okay, let me see, okay, yes, four groups. Go ahead now, go, go. Um, the types of transportation, I, I write airplane, train, and boat. And you, Rosa? I write a car, bicycle, motorcycle. Uh -huh. I write airplane, train, and boat. Diego, and you? What are your words? Diego, are you there? Well, um, in the second, 
words that finish with S. Um, what are your words, Rosa Luz? I, I write a star, client. What? Power. A star, client, and power. That works in the platform. Por donde van? Ya la termine. Do you finish? Do you finish sharing your sentences and words? Oh, that's good. Do you finish? Yes. The activity. Wow, que son super rápidos. Todos, 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 todos. Aquí dijeron. Vamos a ver. Vamos no. a ver. Ajá. Ok. ¿Ya las terminaron todas? Yes. 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 Cada uno de ustedes dijeron 18 palabras y terminaron rápido. Wow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, um, I'm going to be visiting the other groups and I'm going to ask you when we go to the main room. Okay. 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 All right. All right. That's, that's okay. Eli. Um, Peter. Yes. Uh, Panama, Paris, Portugal, eh, eh, Bikin Tea, eh, Tomatoes, mm -hmm. Tired, Tor, um, Number Three, and Number Five, and Motorcycle. And the second ah, okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. Motorcycle. Okay. And number two. I have Class, Bus, and Boys. Okay. And, and number three. Five. Yeah, I have Palestine, Peru, and Poland. Wow. Okay, okay. Number the next, uh, time, travel, and tomatoes. Okay. And number and, uh, uh, fifth? Uh, I have a shark, a boat, and a fish. Okay. Uh, the next, uh, Robert Pattinson, Jason Momoa, Jennifer Lopez. Okay. And the last one, okay. uh, mother, nephew, uh, mother, nephew, and daughter. Okay. 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 Hey, Do, you finish? Do you finish? We have finished. Yeah, we finished. Okay. Um, the this one uh, is difficult to, uh, to find words. I don't hear teacher. Ustedes no me dicen con tiempo. I'm like very motivated, like talking and talking and talking, and you don't tell me that the microphone is off. No me dicen. Yo creo que me dejan hablar toda la clase y está ahí. El teacher no está hablando. Uh -huh. Okay. Anyway, so as I said before, uh, as I said before, um. Uh, let me ask you, uh, the, the, let me share the screen because I, I would like to hear from all of you what you have as a type of transportation. What do you have for types of transportation? What do you have? Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me, Mot open your mic and tell me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Bus, car. Airplane. Airplane, bus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bicycle. Bicycle. Mm -hmm. Bicycle. Mm -hmm. Train. Bicycle, Train, car, air, boat, car, motorcycle. Okay, motorcycle, motorcycle. motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Motorcycle. What about words that finish with letter S? 
Parents. Parents. Mm -hmm. Something. Apples. What? Students. Apples. Students. Apples. Mm -hmm. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Carlos. Parents. Uh, parents. Parents. Mm -hmm. Carrots. Carrots. And you know, uh, <laughs> because thanks to Roberto and I say, oh, can, can I do it with the... Sometime. With the... <laughs> With the plural, so you know every single word in plural that we end with letter S. Something that I didn't hey, consider. That class. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't consider that until he said, well, like, wow, yes, that's true, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's good. Okay, what about country? I have, I have class. <laughs> Panama. Okay, Paris. countries that begins with P. Uh -huh. Portugal. Panama, Peru. Portugal, Peru. Paris. Peru. Paris. Paris is a Paris is not a country. Paris is a city, the capital city of France. City. City. What is it? So, okay, I have Paraguay, I have Peru, I have Poland. Right? Teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, in the case of countries. Uh, will be translate the name or proper name. What is it? No. The name. The name. El nombre de los países se traduce o es nombre propio. Oh no 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 no. Well um, it, it, you can translate it, mm -hmm. but in this case <laughs> you can you you don't translate for example El Salvador. Especially in that case you you don't translate. It will be like the savior. No no no, because that's different. Mm -hmm. But for example, Francia, you translate it to friends, see? And for example, Polonia, somebody said Polonia, somebody says Poland, see? And that way you translate it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let the same happen with the United States. We, we say Estados Unidos, so if you translate it, it would be, I mean, that's the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank Germany you so is Alemania. Germany is Alemania, correcto, correcto. Okay, what about number four? Words that begins with with what? With letter T. Tomatoes. 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 Turtle. 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 Teenager. Teenagers. Hmm? What else? Television. Television. Okay, number five. Things in the water. Mm -hmm. Do. What, what do you have at things in the water? Oh, fish. Fish, Boat. fish, boats, sand, rocks, rocks, rocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. plants. What is it? Plants. Oh, sand. Plants. Yes, plants. Mm -hmm. Plants. Aha, uh -huh. plants, sand, rocks, and everything that is alive in the in the, in the water. Okay. What about famous people? Can you mention some famous people that you wrote about? Shakira. Michael Jackson. Shakira. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. Michael Jackson. Uh -huh, Sylvester Stallone. Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. Bruce Willis. Chris Willis. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Good, good. Nice. Okay, the last one. Family members. What about family members? So, brother. Mother. Nephew. Husband. Sister. Sister, husband, son. brother, son. Mm -hmm. Nephew. Nephew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Niece. Cousin. Cousin. Niece. Cousin. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, good. All right. So I hope um, I hope you are remembering some vocabulary related to any uh, different, uh, any of the different uh, given categories that we had over here. All right, so it's time to go to the topic today. And today we're gonna to talk about some time contrasts. Remember, um, I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure that in the, when, do you remember how was your first telephone? Do you remember your first cell phone? Do you remember your first cell phone? How was it? What kind of brand was it? Que tipo de marca era su primer teléfono celular? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Nokia. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, was, Nokia. It was a big phone. A big phone, Nokia. That was back in what year was it? 
And very you, heavy, very heavy. Very heavy, and you, and every time you were pressing the key, it was beep, 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 beep. Uh -huh, you were, every time you were pre pressing uh -huh. the keys, it, they were like, <laughs> point, 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 point. Every time, do you remember that? <laughs> so, yeah. telephone, yeah. remember? It was a Nokia, okay? What else? Who had a Movistar? Do you remember the Movistar? Uh -huh, the Motorola Movistar, do you remember? <laughs> Unos que eran como color gris. Yes. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Ah, okay. So today we're going to be talking about how things have changed. For example, in the past, in the present, and the future. As you can see right here, look, I had the first one, which is entertainment. In the past, people used to uh, have some kind of fun by just what? Listening to the radio and watching movies, right? In the past. And remember, the TV was white and black. Do you remember? Los televisores, blanco y negro. Mm -hmm. Okay. And mm -hmm. right now, in the present, people have fun with what? With computer games. With high what high definition tv three movies 3d movies right what about in the future well in the future will be more likely to have virtual reality all right virtual reality movies all right okay let me ask you this question look uh, how did people used to entertain in the past? Can you tell me? How did people used to entertain in the past? Look at my question. Look at my sentence in the chat. They used to play high and seek. Look, <laughs> people in the past used to play Ladrón Librado. I mean, yeah, right? Escondelero, I mean, hide and seek. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. can you tell me how did people used to entertain in the past? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Tell me. No la escucho, Evelyn Liliana. No escucho, no escucho, Lili. Uh -huh. Creo que hay interferencia en internet. Uh -huh. ¿Lo puede escribir en el chat? Ah, yeah, yeah. Eh, sí, sí, es la mía. Uh -huh. Escondelero. Sí, escondelero. Uh -huh. Escondelero. Uh -huh. Okay. okay, let me see Patricia says. Oh, okay. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Look, Patricia said they used to they used to play Jack, Joyo, and Trompo. Yes. <laughs> in the past, people used to entertain in the past like that by playing Joyo, by playing Jack and Trompo. Good. What else? Tell me more. How did people used to entertain in the past? ¿Cómo se entretenían las personas en el pasado? Tell me, please. Tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the kids used to play with other kids on live. You mean like uh, in vivo? You mean like face to face? Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay. 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 In, okay. In the actually, it's online. Oh, okay. For example. Like, mm -hmm. Yes, like right now, people play not like face to face, but online. Okay, good. Let me see, Michelle. Uh, they used to, they used to listen to radio. Uh, they used to listen, or they used to listen the radio. Okay, let me see that one. I like that one. They used to play the radio for listening to music. Aha! Uh -huh. And right now, I don't think people still use um, listen to music right now. I mean, music like the radio. Michelle says, uh, Amilcar says, the children used to play canicas. Aha. Uh -huh. Luis Arquímedes, we used to play. Mm -hmm. We used to play, uh, Arquímedes. 
We used to play ladder on librado. En pecado. ¿Cuál es ese? ¿Cuál es ese, Luis Arquímedes? <risa> pecado. Ah, we used to play ladder on librado en sí. pecado. ¿Mm? Pecado, sí. pecado es, se, eh, se hacían, Ajá. dependiendo de los que iban a jugar, se hacían unos hoyos Ajá. en el suelo, Ajá. ¿verdad? Ajá. Y ah, no, no. Con, con una pelota. Ajá. Y cada quien, cada quien tiraba, cada quien tenía eh, eh, el, el hoyo donde iba a estar la pelota. Uh -huh. Entonces uno tiraba la pelota y uh, en el orificio que cayera la pelota, ese tenía que salir a recoger la pelota y a buscar a los otros y a tirarle la pelota, ¿verdad? Y se tiraba la pelota y todos salían corriendo eh, eh, hasta llegar a, a, los, a los hoyos nuevamente. Y el que no le pegaba a nadie, ese comenzaba con los pecados. Se jugaban de cinco o seis pecados. O sea, cada piedrita era un pecado. Oh, ok. <laughs> I never played that before, but it sounds like fun, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Luis Arquímedes, for sharing. Uh -huh. nunca, okay. jugó a, nunca jugó a Arranca Cebolla tampoco. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. Arranca Cebolla. Las, Arranca Cebolla. I remember that. <laughs> Él no la conoció. <risa> well, Esconde el anillo. ¿Ah? Esconde el anillo. Esconde el anillo. What is that? Uh -huh. Esconde el anillo. Esconde los dientes. <risa> so, what do you use oh, to do? Se está modesta Martín de la Cuesta. Mi padre me ha dicho que lo tiene. ¿Tú? <risa> ¿Quién tiene el anillo? I don't know. Me? Ah, cabrón. You already remember. Know. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Remember. Okay. Okay. Um, it's good that you remember that because uh, those were the, the kind. They were. Uh, they were the kind of entertainment that people used to have in the past, right? In the in the past, no, no sé people si used to play llegado. more. Sí, yo no sé. What? Sí, yo estoy. Yo estoy en Sonsona. Te dijo, no sé. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> okay, you don't have a problem if you, you, you use in Sonsonate. Okay, um, yes. So people used to play in bicycle a long time ago, yes. And also people used to play bachillerato stop. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, let's go to the ah, next one. I, okay. I heard about it. Okay, what about the next one? Transportation. What about transportation? Look in the past. In the past, people used to go through railroads and ocean liners. ¿Cuáles eran los railroads? ¿Alguien sabe? Railroads. ¿Los trenes? Ajá, los famosos trenes. Usted me puede decir, pero, so what's the difference between railroads and train? Well, the railroads were those ones were like, boo, boo, and then they were like um, the, the heat engines. They were like uh, providing, well, not providing, but uh, contaminating the, the environment with a lot of smoke. Remember? Have you seen some película, right? Que like, those ¿Sí? were the right roads. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what about in the present? What about now? Let me see. Who wants to read this one for me right now? Mm -hmm. Right now? Mr. Kimmede, can you read this for me, please? Hybrid cars, high-speed mm -hmm. trains, and a spacecraft. Good, yes. So in the past, people used to go from one place to another one through railroads. Now people go through trains and hybrid cars. What about in the future? Mm -hmm. uh, who wants to read this one for me? Self-driving cars, mm -hmm. GPS shoes, and time machines. Okay, yes. And sabían que ya hay carros self-driving uh, cars, right? You know that one, right? Ya hay carros que se manejan solo. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Sí. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Mi carro example... se maneja solo. <laughs> For example, the Tesla. Yo le pongo piloto automático. Si yo, ajá, cierto. The Tesla, no, no, no. Y me that's... avisa si voy a chocar. Yeah, especially, yes, uh, the self-driving cars. The Tesla ones, well, you just can go and enjoy the, the, the environment and everything around. And the car by itself is driving by itself. Of course. Ellos son muy carísimos. Very expensive. Okay. So tell me. Look at this question. 
how did people move from one place to another one? Por favor, utilicen la, esta expresión que tengo acá. Look. In the past, coma, people used to and complete the sentence. La pregunta es, how did people move from one place to another one? Or to another. Respondiendo, in the past, coma, people used to move and then you tell me how. Don't, for, don't forget the donkeys. Don't forget the, 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 the horses. horses. Don't forget that they were walking. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. How do you say? How do you say carreta? Eso carreta. estaba pensando yo. Carreta like carreta like. Carreta con bueyes. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know that one. I don't know that one. But let me look for it. Let me look. Okay, let me look. Hmm. Carruaje. Carruaje. Oh well, car. I don't know if it is the same. Is it the same? Mm -hmm. No, no, carruaje. No, right? no, no, para nada. Carruaje va con caballo, la carreta yeah. es con, con bueyes. Yes, I don't know if it is the same. Well, I know, ah, yes, 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 yes. It is carts, carts, carts. Cart. Let me type it here in the chat. Let me type it, carts, and that's true. Yes, it's carts. See, carretas, carts, carts, carts. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let me continue uh, sharing. Voy a compartir. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the past, people used to, vamos a ver qué escribió aquí Adonai. In the past, people used to move. Okay, be careful, Adonai, porque si usted me dice, in the past, people used to move bikes, significa que ellos movían las bicicletas. Movían la bicicleta. No se movían en bicicletas. Be careful with that. Because if you say, in the past, people used to move bikes. Ellos quizás iban empujándolo, las bicicletas. Uh -huh. Is that what you mean? Okay. In the past, people used to. Vamos a ver, uh -huh. In the past, people used to move. Uh, in the past, people used to move in hard horse, donkey, etc. In the past, people used to move in horses. In the past, people used to move on bikes. Uh huh. In the in the past, people used. Okay, Dina. Ahí le hace falta un verbo, Dina. Cuando usted me dice, in the past, coma, people used to. Le falta un verbo y luego me dice uh, buy horses. Ok. Amilcar, in the past, people used to walk. Ajá. Uh -huh. People used to walk. That's true. All right. Let's move on with the next one. Communication. What about communication? Um, in the past, people used to what? They used the telephone and the postal system. Do you remember when you used to go to Antel? ¿Se acuerdan? I remember that. ¿Se sí. acuerdan? ¿Se acuerdan? Do you remember sí. when you used yeah. to buy uh, cars for to talk in the Publicitel? Oh, Publicitel? Yeah, is that, was it Publicitel or what was it? Uh, mm -hmm. unos, Publicitel, right? Publicitel. That was a long time ago. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. In the mm -hmm. present, see? Look. Look in the present, text messaging, video phones, and social networking. What about in the future? Cell phones, implants, a sensory internet, and 3D social networking. Well, right now, especially with, um, with, the, with the CEO, the Facebook CEO, he says that he wants to build the metaverse, el metaverso. Have you heard about that? Mm -hmm. The metaverse. All right. So in the past, tell me how, imagine you were in what? You were in uh, elementary school, elementary school. Tell me how do you communicate in the past? Imagine you were in high school or in elementary school and you wanted to say hello to your boyfriend and girlfriend long time ago. Tell me, how did you communicate in the past? Cuéntame, vamos a ver. Mm 
Vamos a ver. Don't be shy, please. No tengan pena. Don't be shy. Hmm? How do you use to communicate in the past, especially when you had a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Teacher is corrected. The, the, the word? Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. In the past, people used to. Vamos a ver. Let me let, uh, let me see. Uh, Edith. In the past, people people used to. Ahí le hace falta un verbo. Edith. In the past, In the past people past, used to what? Used to. To communicate. Uh, uh, through through or by the telegram. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me see. In the past, we used to by a postal office. Yes. Look. Look what Roberto and I says. In the past, we used to communicate with the girls with notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see. Dina. In the past, people. Dina. Ahí le hace falta. Porque si te si yo traduzco eso en español, Dina sería. En el pasado, las personas. Enviaron Telegram. Is that what you meant? If, if it is that, well, that's all right. Roberto de Paul, in the past. Oh, the Viper. I, I never used the Viper. I heard about the Viper. <laughs> no, no sé, no son, no, really? eran unos cuadritos chiquitos like this, right? Eran unos cuadritos así, ¿verdad? I don't remember, yeah. I don't know how to use that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I never had one. Nunca tuve uno. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what happens? Mm -hmm. Okay, in the past, people used to communicate through letters. Yes, a través de cartas. Good. Ailey, in the past, people used to communicate by letters. Mm -hmm. Rosa Luz, in the past, people used to communicate by letters. Okay, good. Why I was telling you, oh, we have only eight minutes. Okay, yes, I have enough time. Yes. Okay. Why am I, am I telling you about the time contrast? Because, listen. Uh, okay. Sometimes when we want to, I'm going to skip this activity. I'm just going to read it. And then I want you to pay attention to the one that I ha highlighted. Lo que ya es sombreado. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people live here but the population is growing so fast these days. Remember how we used to rent videotapes at that little beauty store? Yeah, now it's a multiplex cinema. And I hear they are tearing down our high school. They are going to be a shopping mall. Soon, there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Ok, if you see, estas oraciones que tengo en amarillo me dicen si yo me estoy refiriendo al presente, al pasado o al futuro. Look, if I say a few years ago, is it, seen, is it past, is it present or is it future? Past. In, in past. Past, simple past, good, good. Simple past. What about this one? Now... Mm -hmm. Now it's yeah. present. 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 Awesome. Good job. Soon. Soon is the future. 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 Good job. What about 50 years ago? Past. 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 Okay, good. What about Past. nowadays? Nowadays. Present. present. Okay, good. Uh, ¿Qué significa nowadays? Can, it, can anyone help me? Who can tell me what hoy nowadays? Hoy en día. Hoy en día o en la actualidad. Hoy en día o en la actualidad. Look, listen to this one. Every time we use a time expression, depending on the time of expression that I'm using, voy a utilizar el verbo. Look, pasado, pasado. Look. Okay. Look this one. Presente. Now, present. Presente, present. Look, future, future, see? Past, past, see? And nowadays, present, present. Okay. After I have said that, 
I want to show you something and I want you to pay close attention to this. We have a variety of what? We have a variety of time expressions. These time expressions help me, okay? If I want to express any idea in the past, I have this time expression. For example, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, a little while ago, an hour ago, this morning, in the past, etc. Okay? If I want to express any idea in the present, I have this one. Okay? Today, this week, this month, year, at the moment, nowadays, this day, etc. Okay. If I want to express any activity in the future, también, there are time expressions for the future. For example, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, in an hour, in the near future, later this evening, in the future, wait off in the future, the day after tomorrow, and eventually, eventualmente, eventually, okay? All right, so you can use that for future, for el futuro, okay? All right, keep in mind this one. No se les vayan a olvidar estas expresiones de tiempo. Why? Because Excuse you me, are... Yes, yes. So, excuse me, uh, what meaning uh, way off in the future? Oh, como en el futuro no muy cercano. Way off oh, okay, in the okay. future, más adelante. Okay. Más adelante. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. Look. Look teacher, at this one. Uh, I have a question. Dígame, dígame. Tell me. Uh, in the past, dice recently. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería esa traducción? Oh, recientemente. Recientemente. Recently. Oh, y algo que. Ah, uh, yes, recently. Debe, pensé que sería presente. No, no. Rest, re, okay, recientemente. Listen. Be careful with this one. Yo sé que más de algunos van a estar confundidos. How do you say en la actualidad o actualmente? How, how do you say actualmente in English? Uh, actually. Now. Now. Today. Now on these days. Now no day. Look, look. A lot of people say actually. Actually, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean en la actualidad. Actually means en realidad. En realidad. Correcto. When you say actually, no están diciendo actualmente, lo que están diciendo es en realidad. However, en realidad. sin embargo, however, uh, however, when you are using what? When you are using currently, currently, eso sí significa en la actualidad. ¿Ok? So, no se vayan a confundir. Actually significa en realidad. Currently significa en la actualidad. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos claros ahí? ¿Ok? All right. Ok, good. thanks, teacher. Ok, good, good. Ok. Uh, tomorrow we are going to continue talking more about this one because this is a topic that we're going to be talking between today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. De aquí al miércoles vamos a estar hablando de este tema, ¿ok? So, do not, if you're like, oh, this is a lot of information, no worries. Because today we started and tomorrow we will continue working on that. ¿Ok? Tomorrow we're going to, I'm going to explain more about this one, the time contrast. For example, look, a few years ago, not many people live here. These days... The population is growing so fast. Soon, there will be, there will be apartment blocks everywhere. If you see, I'm contrasting something in the past, in the present, and in the future, All right? Look at the other one. People used to rent videotapes. Today, people download movies online. ¿Se acuerdan cuando bajaban música en Aries? Do you remember that? <laughs> Aries. What's it? Aries. Yes. Aries. Aries or Aries? Aries. Aries. Do you remember Aries. that? With, and you used to Beatles. use it. You used to listen to music through Walmart and Dixman. ¿Se acuerdan de la Dixman? Mm -hmm. 
I know you don't remember that. And you were feeling like super cool because you had a CDs and you were like listening, you were listening to music. Do you remember that? I do remember that, even though I didn't have it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop right here. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to continue about that. And if you have any question, just keep in mind. Vamos a trabajar con a time expression tomorrow. And we are going to write sentences with time expression tomorrow. Okay? Okay. All right. So I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you so I will see you tomorrow. Good night. No se pierdan la clase de mañana. Vamos a seguir hablando más del tema y vamos a hacer oraciones. Okay. So have a wonderful night. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you.